A warm welcome to everyone out there. We, the members of the GNU Linux Users Group, are here with yet another interesting video covering everything about the upcoming Google Summer of Code or popularly known as GSOC. Now to give you a brief idea about GSOC, participating contributors are paired with mentors from open source organizations. Contributors will learn from experienced open source developers while writing code for real world projects. A small stipend is provided as an incentive. Participating organizations use the program to identify and bring in new excited developers. Many of these new developers will continue to contribute to their new communities and the world of open source long after GSOC is over. This year, now why GSOC? What are the perks of GSOC? What will you get uh, by accomplishing or completing GSOC? Firstly, you get to learn a lot of new stuff. So you get to work with a uh, lot of good mentors on very new and fresh ideas. Uh, nextly, you will get a, an opportunity to connect with incredible people and also get some recommendations or referrals from them. And thirdly, the tag of GSOC is very heavy and it's like a good qualitative factor on your CVs if you accomplish GSOC. And saving the best for the last, Google handsomely rewards everyone completing GSOC. So that's also a plus. You will get a stipend if you complete GSOC. This year, the timeline of GSOC is as follows. Contributor proposals will open from the 4th of April till the 19th of April. Projects will be announced to public on the 29th of March. Project work period will start from 13th of June. And the program will end on the 2nd of December. This year, we also have some major changes in GSOC. GSOC will now be open to all newcomers that are, that are 18 years or older. One of the fundamentals for GSOC all along has been a focus on student participation, while that requirement is being removed entirely. To help those going through a career change, self-taught or returning to the workforce among other possibilities, all adults can apply to be part of the GSOC. This year was focused on the medium size, that is the 175 hour projects, while for GSOC 2022, those medium sized projects will be available along with the return of the larger projects with an intended time of around 350, 350 hours of development. This is good news for those that cut their GSOC 2021 participation over having less work that could be reasonably accomplished in the shorter time frame. Another fundamental change with GSOC 2022 is changing up the format. Google Summer of Code had always been on a June to August schedule over the span of 12 weeks. There will not only be the 12 week option with GSOC 2022, but it's also opening a 22 week option for larger projects. The participants and organizations involved can work together to determine the suitability of extending the project deadline to 22 weeks. Now coming to the process. Firstly, interested contributors propose a project to work upon. Next, the accepted GSOC contributors spend the summer coding with guidance from a mentor. And finally, you submit your code for the world to use. Potential GSOC contributors contact the mentor organizations they want to work with and write a project proposal based on ideas the organization has suggested. Once accepted, GSOC contributors spend a few weeks becoming familiar with the community norms and code base while determining expected milestones with the mentor for the summer. GSOC contributors then spend 12 plus weeks coding on their projects. Coming up next are the top 5 organizations that beginners can contribute to in GSOC. We will go through the organization and the tech stacks required for you to contribute to this organization. The number one organization on our list is the Wikimedia Foundation, which is the parent organization of, you guessed it right, Wikipedia. As we all know that Wikipedia is a single click place for any information required on the internet. It is a free encyclopedia for all the people in the world. Now this has been a GSOC organization since 2006 and for you guys to contribute to this organization, you would require the knowledge of HTML, CSS, JS, Python and PHP. Coming up next on the list is Joomla. Joomla is a free and open source uh, content management platform where web, cre web, web creators from all over the world can upload their content onto the web. 
Now, this has been a GSOC organization since 2016. And for you guys to contribute to it, you would have to have the knowledge of HTML, CSS, JS, MySQL, and PHP. Next up on the list is XWiki. Now, what does XWiki do? XWiki allows you for the storage of structured data and the execution of server side script within the wiki interface. Now, uh, the journey of this organization in GSOC has been uh, quite amusing. So, it has been a GSOC organization since 2005 to 2011, and again, it has joined GSOC uh, since 2013 and is still an organization. Now, for you guys to contribute to this organization, you would have to require, have the knowledge of HTML, CSS, JS, Java, and Velocity. The fourth organization on the list is the Plot Foundation. Plot Foundation is a content management system with ReactJS as its frontend and it's a Python based content management system. Now this has been a GSOC organization since 2006 and for you guys to contribute to this organization you would have to have the knowledge of Python, JS and React framework. Uh, Lastly, the organization on the list is Software Heritage. Software Heritage is an archival project for source code and its development history as per the GSOC Ops definition. Now, this has been a GSOC organization in 2019 previously and again it has been a GSOC organization this year in 2022. And to contribute to this organization, you guys need to have the knowledge of Python, PostgreSQL, JavaScript, Django, and the version control system, Git. Now, those were the five organizations for beginners that we have covered, but threat not. There are a lot of organizations that we have not yet covered, but you guys can definitely go and check those out as well to contribute if you like any of those organizations. If you are uh, familiar with the tech stack of any of those organizations, you can go and contribute and check those out as well. Now that was the entire video summed up about GSOC and for more tips and how to actually crack GSOC we have already previously released a video. You can check that out as well. The link to, those, uh, to that video is in the description below. And thank you. That's it from our side. If you like the video, please like, share, comment and also uh, show some love by subscribing to the channel. Uh, until next time, may the source be. Back from the dead